Vermadani, who is an environmental scientist and, <coughs> excuse me, senior fellow at Yale. He previously served as vice president of the UN Environment Assembly Bureau. Uh, Professor Madani, thank you very much for being with us on BBC News this evening. Let me, let me ask you, first of all, from your safe distance, as it were, from Madrid, what hope do you think there is of getting from the targets, which have already been set, and of, whom, of which there are a lot, to actual agreement by individual countries to do specific things to combat climate change? So um, we are very far from a point that um, all nations really recognize um, climate change as an existential threat and be willing to, to make um, sacrifices. But we are at a point that a lot of countries have, have recognized that this is a serious problem and uh, they have moral obligations <laughs> and they are trying whatever in their capacity to address the problem. So five years ago, they submitted what they the, the plans they had. And now from now on, we, we have to make them more ambitious. The countries are trying to make them more ambitious and, and get their act together to address the problem. Now, do, do we reach the targets that we have set? Uh, not with the existing plans. But if, if the negotiators succeed in convincing everyone that this is serious that you know this the this is a serious th threat to humankind then we might see some actions i mean you you talk about the negotiators in a sense that's what it is isn't it it's a it's a a, a, a series of trade-offs between different countries or different groups of countries um some have usefully for their own benefit uh, they would argue to extract a better deal for the world um held out on particular particular rounds, making the meeting stretch well into the night and to try and get people to give way. One might wonder if that's a very effective way of doing this, though, treating this as a kind of a negotiation, a bartering operation, might seem rather an inadequate way to tackle something that is so fundamental to the future of the whole planet. The, this is the main problem. We are trying to solve an unprecedented problem of the 21st century with the existing economic institutions that we invented, uh, uh, you know, during the Industrial Revolution, uh, the the new problem needs re needs uh, new solutions, and 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 the cost of implementing reforms, economic reforms, and social reforms is is huge. The political cost is high unless societies really ask for that. Uh, the, those who didn't have responsibility creation of this problem are going to get hurt the most from this problem but unfortunately they don't have the economic power the political power to 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 address the problem on their own unilaterally and hopefully the, there would be a change in behavior and we would see um united the, the united states for example as the country that has the, the the most responsibility in creation of this problem to take action without the u.s involvement it is really hard to see that other nations would be willing to, to move things forward. Kava Madani, thank you very much for being with us on BBC News.